Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 21st, 2022. It's Friday, everyone, and oh my goodness, um, it's been a short week, but it has been a hectic week, and yesterday was one nasty reversal in the market. So, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Holy moly, yesterday was a rough one. I had suggested that the possibility um, that we should kind of keep that possibility in mind that we could test that 200 day moving average um, here on the diamonds and the QQQ and oh my goodness, after bouncing up substantially, Dow was up 450 points on the day we pushed right up into that price resistance level that i had marked out here in the chart yesterday pushed right up there and i think there was quite a bit of hope that the relief rally was going to just push right on through um, and just zoom right back to the upside but instead they produced a nasty whipsaw that erased more than 750 points on the day uh, pushing us back down below that 200 day moving average so let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information for today now being below the 200 day moving average su suggests that possibility that a bounce could happen here in our t2122 indicator i'll show you in a bit um, is in an extreme oversold condition at the moment but let's take a look in here on some of the support and resistance notice that yesterday at the close we were right here at a price support in the chart so we're testing right across this area in that price support and hitting that 200 day moving average would suggest the possibility of a bounce but then we got that really disappointing earnings report from Netflix and that sent uh, futures down sharply last night. Now, although we have bounced um, off of those overnight lows in the futures, they still suggest a lower open. And there is that possibility. We cannot rule out that possibility that we could test those overnight lows in the futures. So if we get some bearish activity in here, um, continuing to push down, let's notice we have to move quite a ways lower in here to find that next level of price support in the Dow. That would be a punishing move. And I hate to say it, but I don't think we can rule out that possibility of that considering um, how deeply those overnight futures sold off, we could easily see a retest of those lows um, sometime during the day. Now, what we for sure want to see is we want to catch a little bit of a relief rally. And as we, as that occurs, we're going to have to watch these price resistance levels in the chart as we try to move back up if we can try to move back up. Remember, next week we have that Fed rate decision um, that will be coming out. There's a lot of worry on that. So we, uh, it may be a challenging day because we don't have a whole lot on the earnings calendar or economic calendar to provide inspiration. We just have that ugly Netflix sell-off that um, is really weighing heavily on the market today. So um, pretty ugly here in the chart on the diamonds. Now the SPY held up and I had suggested that the SPY was the strongest of the indexes yesterday, but oh my goodness, that whipsaw yesterday, we ripped right through that price support and kept on going lower. And unfortunately, as you can see, we're looking a little bit lower this morning, probably due to the Netflix earnings. And we are very, very close to that 200 day moving average. So we cannot rule out the possibility of a test of that 200 day moving average yet today. So I know everyone would like to say, come on, it's gotta bounce here soon and it will, but some of these technical um, um, indicators like that 200 day on the spy could pull very hard on this, 
particularly with that selling that um, is happening in Netflix. So if we can bounce back, if we can find a way back to, to move up, watch right in here. This is a big resistance level now in the chart that we're going to have to get back through. So a lot of technical damage here has been um, established and certainly some pain here in the market. And these uncertain earnings reports are really starting to shake market confidence. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ is looking for a little bit more punishment this morning. You can see we dropped, just sliced right through that 200 day like it wasn't even there yesterday. And we're looking to follow through to that to the downside. So let's take a look right here. We have our next price support in the chart all the way down here. So if those bears are really get cranking up here, um, we can't rule out that possibility that we could test this level here in the chart um, on that support. And then if we start rallying back, we would look for those resistance levels around that 200 day moving average to come into play. So as we start pushing back up, my goodness, we've got a lot of work here to um, bring this market back up and catch that relief. So uh, more pain may be coming here yet um, today um, if um, well, the tech sector is just in a pretty dismal shape at the moment. Then let's take a look at our um, Russell IWM. I have mentioned uh, many times that um, watch this right here. If the Russell fails that level, there's not a whole lot of price support below. And um, that is certainly playing out here in the market. And as you can see, we do have just a little tiny bit of price support right in here in that Russell chart. So watch that carefully. If it can catch a little bounce, that would be nice. But um, if we were to fail that area, I want you to notice if we drop through here, there really isn't any price support in that chart until we drop maybe even way down into here around 169 on the Russell. So pretty, pretty desperate situation here maybe in the Russell if we continue to fail, um, it could get ugly quick. But that being said, we are oversold in the short term and a relief rally should be expected to occur at any time. And we'll watch that as we bounce back up. Watch this big resistance level in the chart if we do come back up. Let's take a look at that VIX. Now, what was interesting yesterday is although we appeared to have massive panic in the market, we didn't really see massive panic showing up in the VIX. Let's think about it. Our last low that we saw in the market was over here, and we have actually breached that low in the indexes, and yet our VIX is not showing nearly the amount of fear that we've seen before. Now that said, we're still above that 25 handle in the chart, and or that 20 handle in the chart, and that means that price volatility is going to be challenging and could be extreme. Now, if we continue to sell off today, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that that fear really spikes in the market. However, if we can catch a little bit of relief, if we can get those cooler heads to prevail, then we might actually start getting a little bit of a pull back in this a little bit of rest heading into the weekend so hard to say what's going to happen after that Netflix report but oh my goodness um, if we were to uh, fall through some of these um, additional levels um, then I would look for that VIX to spike if we take a look at our uh, T2122 this probably gives the best look at that possibility that we should catch a relief rally. Remember, we stopped yesterday. We kind of stopped right in here, and I was looking at that and saying, well, we've sold off enough. We could get to catch a relief rally. That produced that 450-point bounce, but, well, we know what happened after that. And as you can see, we ended up moving down here into an extreme oversold condition and that bullish reversal zone. So if we can find any reason for rally today, 
um, um, watch for that to push up. And I would not rule out yet that we could whipsaw today as well. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our T2108. Doggone it, T2108, um, not a happy camper here on, on the day, pushing back down. And notice we've lost some of those support levels here in the chart. But there is some good news here. Notice that the last sell-off that we had in the market, our T2108, um, pushed all the way down here. And we are holding a higher low. That means we're getting just a few more stocks, even though we've made a lower low, a few more stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So that gives us that little bit of hope of that relief rally could be soon on the way. So watch that close. And our T2107 um, pretty much suggesting the same thing. Um, in the chart, giving us that little tiny bit of hope that we may hold on to this price support right in here. We really haven't made that lower low um, significantly here in the chart. So that gives us that little bit of hope. Uh, hope we'll catch some support here um, for a potential bounce. However, having said that, we still have a massive downtrend here in play and substantial resistance levels in this chart that yet need to be breached if we can come back up. Let's take a look at our T2101, the absolute market breadth. Uh, can't type this morning. Uh, T2101, we actually did get that pushback up, that market breadth expanded yesterday to the upside, gig digging us up off of this floor, but unfortunately it was in that selling wave that that really came up. So we spiked back above this little downtrend here in the chart. If we get additional selling um, and, and that panic comes in, this could spike even higher today. So watch, watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today day and our economic calendar is such a light day it's going to be difficult for the market to find a whole lot of inspiration notice we have leading indicators we have baker hughes um, there is um, possibility of jerome powell speaking today someplace but watch that carefully not much happening here on the day and, and remember next week we slide into the fed meeting where we're looking for the Fed to cut stimulus money dramatically and uh, maybe even signal a rate increase in March. So, boy, kind of a tough situation here for the market right now and not a lot of inspiration to work with. If we take a look at our earnings calendar today, we have five, five confirmed reports today. Um, and although they are notable, they're not exactly the kind of the stocks that are going to move us a ton. Um, so let's take a look at those um, reports this morning. Um, and we've got uh, Schlumberger, uh, Schlumberger reporting. Uh, they've already reported, I think, and they're holding up in here. All right. Um, energy has been really, really strong. And this is another problem. Um, we're seeing oil starting to pull back here today. But a lot of these energy stocks continue to hold in very strong patterns. And that continues to add that worry to more and more inflation as we move forward as those prices continue to rise. Let's take a look. Um, H band, H band reporting, whoops, reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. I believe they have already reported and looking a bit lower here as we continue this mix of earnings results. We take a look at INFO. INFO, I believe, is already reported this morning. It's also looking a little bit lower here this morning. Been moving in a downtrend and may find some support right in this area. So watch that close. And um, Ali, one of our more notables for today, um, reporting looks like they're a little bit lower here this morning. So watch that. And last but not least, um, FHB um, will be reporting um, today. So keep an eye on that. These banks have been giving an awful lot of mixed results 
here um, in the market. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these to be helpful, if you can please continue to support the channel by clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment, um, that helps an awful lot. Continue continuing to grow the channel. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I wish, I wish I had better news um, for you today um, in these charts. It's also just always disappointing when the market's like this. But um, as you can see, by looking at these things, the, the members of Right Way Options, we have profited dramatically in this sell-off because we were looking at the technicals of the chart, because we were prepared for this potential pullback. And um, if you find those things to be helpful, if you would like to get involved in that and, and avoid all of the hype and all of the, the prediction of the market, just looking at where the technicals show us, then you might find some help here in these morning prep videos. And please feel free to share them with other friends as well if you think that might be helpful to them. Um, let's take a look at just a few stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, I'm going to be very, very limited in these stocks today because the market is so dangerous here um, in these big whips. Um, uh, right way options uh, myself I am holding a position in coke and coke started up yesterday and was looking pretty good but that reversal then yesterday pulled that back down now this is one of those defensive sector stocks where folks will hold these in um, these times of nervousness in the market because of the dividend yield and um, right now no failure in here I haven't been stopped out of this trade and it's still hanging in there so so let's watch for that opportunity that some of these defensive sector stocks may continue to hold on and try to push back up if we can get a little bit of relief rally going in the market. I mentioned Verizon um, yesterday to um, members of RWO as a possibility and it was pushing up and you can see this is another one of those big dividend payers that's coming up out of this bottom running this nice upside trend holding in here on some price support. We've broken this downtrend. So um, one of those big divvy payers um, starting to hang out in here and a little bit of safety play in that chart. So watch Visa. And I had also mentioned AT&T a while back as another one of those safety plays. Now, um, yesterday, this is this is kind of stretched out in this move right now. I think AT&T needs a bit more of a rest or consolidation in the chart. And unfortunately, what kind of throws this in into turmoil is this right here. We've got earnings reports um, on this um, next week. And if you look at Verizon, same thing, earnings reports on uh, next week. So that makes that a little bit challenging to jump into those trades. You might take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo um, was trying to move up yesterday and got reversed on the day, but notice it's held support in that chart. Again, kind of that defensive sector um, um, holding in there pretty strongly. So I think it is worth keeping an eye on. Um, MDLZ Mondelez um, held in there nicely. Another defensive sector stock holding in there. At least it's not falling, um, hanging in on the day. So some of those stocks are looking pretty good. I think um, continuing to watch BMY would be a good idea. BMY has been holding up nicely. In fact, you can almost see that it's just ignored all the volatility in the market and is just holding in a nice resting pattern. So if we can get some bullishness in the market, I would not rule out that possibility of being BMY pushing on through to the upside. And I'm going to say the same about Merck. Merck continuing to look pretty decent in here. And although it popped and pulled back yesterday, and we are right at that point where we could hit that trend here in the chart, watch for that opportunity that this, if we can get some bullishness going in the market, that could push on through to the upside. As far as short trades guy, goes, guys, so many things that have already moved lower have made their move lower. You don't want to be chasing short trades to the downside at this point. 
point. What we want to be doing is watching for a bounce back up. Take a look at like AMD. AMD, the failure, the short trade was up here. So you can see there's that failure in here. This is our short trade right here. Now we want to wait for that rally back. Wait for those rally backs in the market. Hit, hitting um, as we react to resistance, react to downtrend. That's where we would look for the next potential short. So don't chase short trades to the downside because you can get punished just as heavily as chasing a long trade up. So be really careful here. I can't really recommend too many short trades at all today because of the oversold condition that we see in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And if you decide, you know what, I'm just going to put my hands in my pockets and go do something else today rather than watch this market gyrate around, I certainly couldn't blame you. So everyone, have an awesome day. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here next week. Remember, as bearish as it is, the market will always come back. And here's the good news. The good news is when the market sells off, it creates good buying opportunities. So don't despair. Look at these charts and be focused on these chart patterns because when we get oversold in the market, it creates very good sales on stocks. You know, when we go shopping, we don't look for the most expensive thing in the store. We normally look for those things on sale. Well, the market is now on sale. And so that provides great opportunities. So stay focused and try not to speculate here. Watch for those good quality entry trades that may eventually show themselves. Everyone have an awesome day and have an awesome weekend. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.